Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Who Should You Choose? If you, this is the first time watching this video series or my channel, welcome. Uh, basically, it is a series where I go through uh, the prior videos, comments, and answer all of your roster and player choices in Hockey Ultimate Team for NHL 21. So if you have a question, you're trying to choose between two or three players, just comment on the video down below and I will get to an answer in the next video. I try to answer it um, basically the next day, sometimes uh, the separate one or the, the day after if uh, uh, if it is a little bit of a busier day, I do need to mention if you guys want an answer um, while I'm streaming live, uh, that it's been you know super good for me lately on Twitch starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time. You can just hop in my channel and ask, and uh, I have no problem answering your questions. But I kind of have a big announcement today, and I want to get to that because um, it's uh, pretty big for me. So as of today, guys, you are the first to know. I'm announcing it in this video first. I am now a partner with G Fuel. That is right. Your boy No Sleeves is partnered with G Fuel. So up until the 18th, guys, if you use my code No Sleeves at checkout for G Fuel, you will get 30% off. And I wanted to offer something up um, to you guys uh, for anyone that uses my code. Obviously, this is the first weekend of it, um, and I really appreciate the support and everything so far throughout NHL 21. If any of you guys use my code this weekend all the way up until the 18th, okay, you save your 30%. Take a screenshot of you using that code on your receipt. Don't send me your details. Just show me that your order was placed and you use my code. Message me on Twitter at No Sleeves Gaming, and I will add you to a chat, and I will give you immediate responses um, in any of your Hutton NHL questions for the next month. Okay, guys, this is something I try to offer up to you guys. Obviously, uh, things have kind of blown up for me lately, and I can't get to all the comments and DMs when I, uh, you know, throughout the day, whether it's streaming, doing esports broadcasts, and things like that. I just don't have enough time. But if you guys are willing to use my code and try out G Fuel if you haven't already, um, I would super appreciate it. Obviously, it's a big time thing for me, and if you guys do use it, I will give you immediate access to any of your NHL questions for the next month. So thank you guys again for all the support. It wouldn't happen uh, without you guys. So let's get into today's video as my alerts are going off. All right, here we go. Let's start with the first question. From Alex the Great, I have four icons, what should I do? If you have four icons, save up to get the seven, and then grab Mario. If you're almost there, just keep saving, play squad battles and rivals, get all the untradeable players that you can, uh, and then turn them into icons. Next up from Justin, we've got McDavid on center or wing. Thanks, awesome video. I would use McDavid on the wing. He is the best left-handed winger, in my opinion, the way the game is played. It's all about speed on the wings off the rush, and McDavid is the best bar none. Moving on to... Uh, Dennis, why have they removed max buy now price? That's actually a glitch. It was confirmed on Reddit. I tweeted about it the other day. If you again follow me on Twitter, guys at No Sleeves Gaming, um, I give out immediate information in terms of anything regarding NHL. Um, but yeah, it is a known issue, and they are fixing that in the next patch. Uh, Emmett, my man, Sagan or Stamkos or John Scott, this kid troll, Twitch. Viewer extraordinaire, Sagan or Stamkos or John Scott, I will go with Stamkos because of the synergies and whatnot, um, and just I like his play style a little bit more. Uh, Anders Alstrup, what order would you recommend I get icons if I wanted to at some point get both the 89 overall players? I think you made a video saying I should go with Lemieux and then into the 88s for a few of them. I don't think you mentioned when the best to save up for another 89 in that video. Okay, so this is going to depend on how much money you pumped into the game or how much you're able to actually work the market and get icons. Um, but I'm just kind of at the broad stroke, 90, you know, 95% of the player base can't really just get icon collectibles at will. Um, so you want to get your 89 overall first, get Mario, and then... And I would recommend going to get uh, Guy Lafleur. So try the 88 set, uh, get Guy Lafleur. And now, again, if it's going to take you seven days um, to get the five collectibles for Guy Lafleur, um, because it is a seven-day cooldown when you do an icon set. Um, so if it's going to take you another seven days to get those seven collectibles, just wait, um, or to get the five, just wait and then get Gretzky afterwards. But I would go 89 Mario, and then if you want, do Lafleur. And if you get Lafleur, okay, in the 88 set, because there's a chance you don't, it's crazy, but you there is a chance you might not. And then I would do the 87 to try and get Paul Coffey. And then I would go back up and get uh, uh, Gretzky again. All right, from Felix, when do you think will be the better time to sell my gold collectibles? I've got 16 of them, and I'm a free-to-play player. Wow, good for you. You've got 16 gold collectibles. Attaboy. Uh, Friday. 
you're going to see the launch of the new event. It's going to require gold collectibles, and you are going to see gold collectible prices go through the roof. Um, that is the time. Anything over 50k is probably the sweet spot. I don't know if it'll get much higher, just because there's going to be a ton of people that are doing what you've done, myself included. Um, so there will be a ton of gold collectibles that hit the market, but 50k is roughly um, where you want to sell. Uh, Dylan Fallon, should I sell my McDavid before the event and use that money to invest in gold collectibles? No, there's no way that even regardless of all the master set player items and players that come from this event, McDavid will still be one of the best left-handed wingers in the game. Oilers fan, 85 Rask or 85 Holpe? Uh, I, neither. I would sell both or use one. I'd probably use Holpe more, um, and then save up for Price or Vasilevsky. Brandon, Rick Lifts, I have around 110k. What should I do? Guys, these are the kind of questions I can't really answer. It's super vague. I don't know your team. I don't know um, you know, if you're a free-to-play player. Uh, I don't know if you're on Xbox or PS4. If you have a question in terms of value, um, so I don't know what to do with 110k, go and search up the 110k price range and give me a few card options and I'll help you out. Uh, Maxwell Richler, should I sell my 83 plus on Friday when they have the most value and keep those coins for when I build my end game team or keep my players? So if you, what I would do is I would recommend everyone's going to want all the new event cards. So the 83 plus cards are going to fall a little bit, but come Monday and Tuesday after all the people that are going to buy and rip packs, those are the days where there's no packs given out. There's no squad battle awards, no rival. So after the weekend, that's when prices should be at their highest. I would wait till then to sell. Uh, Captain Raymond Holt, love your love you in the content. Thanks, buddy. So, what should I do next? I have about 300k in coins and around 100 tradable gold players. This is my team: McKinnon, Sackett, Kucherov, Stamkos, Crosby, Hall, Eichel, Sagan, Malkin, Barzal, Giroux, Ellers, Carlson, Keith, Doughty, OEL, 85, Gossip. Wow, this is a great team, dude. Um, save up for um, save up for Lemieux. Save up for Lemieux. That's what you want to do. Evan Muller, for the people having problems on PlayStation, I have the same problem. Downloading and reinstalling works if you let the whole game download before you open the application and not just until uh, you can play the Stanley Cup game. Okay, so anyone having the issue where you're getting the black pack screen um, or you're not able to play a game, you're getting a ton of just errors and whatnot, what you want to do is uh, go to the PlayStation uh, settings. I believe it's account management. And then restore licenses, shut down the console, restart it. That should fix it, actually. I've had a few people actually have that work. Robert Genovese, uh, Genovese, I'm going to say. I packed Bergeron yesterday. Do you think it was a good idea to sell him for 30 k Yes, because there's a master set Bergeron coming, and it'll just drop his value. I have two Icon collectibles right now, and I'm grinding for more. Do you think I could go for 88 or 89 set? You have two Icons right now, and you're grinding for more. That Honestly, that's my opinion. If, if you're going to save up, don't save up for the 88 overall set, because... There's a chance, A, you don't get Lafleur. Now, Beliveau is not bad, but he's a left-handed winger um, and obviously much less valuable than Guy Lafleur just in this current meta. Um, the 89 will guarantee you two of the best players. So I would do that if you can. Do you see my sub icon or no? I don't know how I can turn it off and how I can find it. Oh, uh, if you go to settings in YouTube and then account management, there's a show public subscriptions uh, thing you want to switch on. I have a gold collectible. I have a gold collectible. Should I sell it Friday or convert it to an icon collectible via silver or bronze players? I just started my team. I'm going to put almost no money in. Uh, do not ever switch the collectibles. You're losing value by um, putting players or adding players in to do that set. Uh, what I would do is um, sell it Friday. Yeah, you'll get a lot of value for it. And if you only have one, you're really not going to be able to do much with it. So I would sell it, but come Friday for about 50k. Best 87 icon uh, for forwards, in my opinion, it is uh, Solani and Sakic. I really don't like Solani's endurance. It's really rough. Uh, I like Sakic on forward and uh, Paul Coffey is the best left-handed defenseman in the game. From Aiden Springer, anyone want to play NHL 23's PS4? <laughs> I sleep just found your channel and you have really helped. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, buddy. Uh, Cam Camille Bedard, do you think they should change the best overall icons next year? We have played enough with Gretzky and Lemieux. I agree they're the best to play with, but they could change it up a bit. I agree, but those are the best players ever to play the game, so I kind of understand it. Um, but yeah, the, it, it could use some freshening up. Jack, uh, should I sell my carry price? I pulled in my loyalty packs or keep them. My best cards are 84 Mark Stone, 85 PK Subban, and 84 TJ Oshi. If that's your team, then yes. I mean, you're not going to get too much for him, but carry price is the best, second best goaltender of the game right now, so you might just have enough value holding him because you're only going to be able to sell him for like 20K. Pasta or Panarin? I would go with uh, Pasta because Panarin will get a master set item and his value will drop. From Shekel, <laughs> my man Shekel. After Rivals Awards, I'll have around 60k. Best players are Couture and Goss to spare. Do you recommend grabbing one high-cost player or incrementally building the team? 
if you have around 60k after rivals um i would start by getting your first line so start getting really good players on your first line so spend that 60k grab stamkos or eichel someone along those lines um start building up your first line and then you want to build incremental but that first line is super important you have to have a line that you can go to from Ben Cruz, I have a Mario, but I should I use my icons on the floor or buy packs? I have three icon collectibles. Don't buy packs uh, with icons like that one set. Don't do that. Um, I would use your icons next on the floor, yes. From Kunal Gill, what's up? Appreciate the content you put up, brother. Keep it up. Thanks, man. I ripped open a bunch of packs and still have 10K points. But I have so many players, 81 to 83, and then a few 84s. I don't know when I should sell my players to get the most profit for the icons. I can make collectibles. But wouldn't it be better early to sell even the low rolls? Because everyone sells for a bit more when the game comes out. And I could do the icon collectibles over time. What do you think? 480 players in collection also need lefties if you look at my team. My team is Ovi McKinnon, Ovi McKinnon, Kucherov, Pasta, Eichel, Huberto, Panarin, Duchesne, Kane, Domi, Johansson, Voracek, Carlson, Hughes. Okay, so answering this first question... What you want to do, um, sell your players, uh, sell the 84s in my opinion, Any, actually anyone above 82, sell them, but wait until Monday, that's when they're going to have the most value, because there's just less cards in the market, there's less packs going being open and everything like that, that's when I would sell um, those cards, but anything below that, um, I would just sell them, or put them into collectibles, um, it is worth it in my opinion, if you've already got the cards, um, in terms of looking at lefties, I would save. I would save up for McDavid, man. Hey, Sleeves, I've decided to go for Lemieux. We've got two collectibles so far. Keep grinding, my man. Ha! Fair. Made the list. Fair enough, Sharks fan. <laughs> I'm no money spent. And I have three icon cloaks. Should I go for Lafleur, Lemieux? Lemieux, man. Again, if you, there's a chance you don't get Lafleur, and you're in a really rough spot, especially if you're a free to play player. My team is okay so far, and I've aimed to get players with Speedster and Howitzer, so almost the whole squad is either of them active. All budget players, but everyone has 85 plus speed. That's perfect. Is it best to save of coins for now and wait for prices to drop while the, while playing the market? I have 120k at the moment. Yeah, so what I would do is on Friday, specifically after the launch of the event, you're going to see gold players, um, the, the decent ones, like above 84, uh, really drop in price because everyone's trying to get rid of them for event cards. Uh, is 36k a good price to invest in gold collectibles? Anything under 35k, in my opinion. Hi, right, Sleevesy. What should I do with my five icon collectibles? Go for the Fleur 88, or go for the, an 87 plus 86 icons? I'm already, I already have Lemieux. Great content. Keep it up. Go for the little Fleur if you already have Lemieux. You should do a video ranking every icon in order from best to worst by each overall. I think that's what I'm gonna do. By the way, I, I, I think I will put that out. Thanks for the response, Sleeves. I've made upgrades in coins since I commented yesterday. I've around 45 to 50k, and now a top line of Miko, O'Reilly, McDavid. Who should I go for next or wait for the event, then buy players when price drop? Wait for the players to buy uh, when the prices drop. I mean, you already have 50k. If you can get, like, another 70 from rewards, you can get McDavid. I'm going to do an 88 set. If I don't get LeFleur, who should I pick? It is Bellavo, without a doubt. Don't Don't overthink it. Thanks for the great content. I bought 86 dry cycle for 35k. Do you think he's worth it, or should I sell for another player? Also, any thoughts on 86 or the 83 Castle card? 83 Castle is a low-key, really gross card. Um, I bought 86 dry cycle for 35k. I don't like the dry cycle card. Um, I think there's better options, but uh, it's not. You didn't you didn't break the bank on him, so that's not bad at all. All right. Hey, I pre-ordered OB edition. I didn't get my pre-order stuff. What should I do? They are fixing that. Uh, that is a known issue. Uh, Jono, yo, hey, Sleeves, thanks for the great tips so far. I'm sitting on 120k coins. Do you think I should spend right now or save if I, if I should spend what on? Wait until the content drop on Friday. Bye, McDavid. From Jordan Heishi, I'm currently free to play. Have an okay team around 87 overall. That's pretty good. I have one icon collectible, but I can get four more. The fourth one will probably come out, come in about two weeks. Should I do the 87 set or wait for the 88? It'll probably take me three weeks to get the seven collectibles. And a what should I do? This is a really hard one, man, because you're just holding on. And you're not making your team better. But um, the, the problem with the 87 set is like what happened with me. You could get Pronger, Marcel Dion, who isn't terrible, but not nearly good enough um you know you could get a lot you could get four cards that are not good and then you're in a really rough spot because you just turned you've wasted three icon collectibles i would wait for one more and then go for the 88 i would try for lafleur if it's going to take you three weeks then i would go for the lafleur is it worth buying a couple golds hoping the price goes up yes if anything under 35 they will go up it should be about 50k uh, i got collectibles in my loyalty packs let's go man three that's not bad 
I picked LeFleur because of your videos, my idiot choice back, best card I've ever used. That's why they paid me the big bucks. Uh, as a free-to-play player, is it better to do all challenges and spend the coins on McDavid or buy players like Eichel, Sagan, and build the team from there? I am always someone who wants to have a top, top-end first line and then build it out. Um, so I would I would do that, but I can see the spreading out. There's there's always good values that you can find, like 83 Duchesne, Kessel, Bar, or, uh, Barzal, like Toravainen. There's always cheap options you can do in the interim. You want to have the really high-end card, though. My main man sleeves, would you rather pick Ovechkin or getting Matthews plus Barkov? Matthews plus Barkov, Ovechkin in this game is not the play, unfortunately. The way that he has built, he's great defensively and obviously has a good shot, but you need speedy wingers. Nate Nowicki, seems like NHL 21 is all about speed. When picking centers for your team, should you be looking for burners like you would on the wing and defense? Or would you be looking for players with good face-offs and that's it? So in my best uh, best players video, I kind of talk about this. Center is the one spot in this game where you can um, you know, take a hit on speed because the center's uh, position won't be the one that you burn down the ice with. It'll be your wingers. Um, so you, can, you really want to focus on making sure that they're good defensively. So the bigger centers are still viable. You want to have above like 81 or 82 speed. Um, and then have good face-off rating, absolutely. But you can take a hit on speed for centers. Uh, what's up with the 84 overall master icons? They exist and are on the market, but there's no 84 master icon set. Will they still get upgrades too? The 84 master icon set. Um, I think those are cards. I don't know if there was plans originally for a set, but um, I'm not sure. I they will get uh, They will get upgrades throughout the year. There should be a silver and gold edition. Dirty Dangle, should I go for Larry Murphy or just hold off? Um, right now, his price is stupid because everyone's hoarding cards. Wait until Friday night, Saturday morning, and there might be enough cards on the market where his value drops to make him. Hey, Slaves, great to this series back for NHL 21. Currently, I have an 84 point, but I was thinking of selling him, getting E through Duchesne, and keeping the profit. What are your thoughts? 100% I recommend doing that. Need some help deciding on how to get McDavid in my lineup. He seems like a top player right now, but I'm having trouble with who to get rid of. Wow, okay. I have 120K, and this is my offense right now. So, uh, again, he is the best left-handed winger, so we can just start right there. So, Kucherov, Hall, Kane, Carlson. Those are great. Uh, get rid of Carlson. That's fine. Just don't th overthink it. McDavid's better than all of these options. Jeremy Martin, love your content. Who do you think? It, what do you think is better, buying 280, 283s or 186 plus? 186 plus always. Horace, my man, heads heads up. Those of you who can't see the packs and getting black screens, here's what you do. First restore, okay, yeah. This is my man, yeah, he walks you through it. Um, but yeah, the restore licenses does work. Should I sell my icon, my only icon collectible to buy Stamkos or Sagan? Also, do icon players upgrade automatically or do you have to get more collectibles? Um, should I sell my only icon to buy Stamkos? Also, do icons players upgrade automatically you have to you will have to upgrade them so when the silvers come out you will have to spend the icon collectibles or whatever the upgrade cost to upgrade them yes there will be a cost to it um i would if you only have one icon collectible i would sell it because there's no 85 in my opinion better than stamp coast although adam oats but uh i still think it's worth it from glass house yo love your channel wanted to share that i was having a bug where i couldn't open packs every download it again oh yeah okay yeah this same issue again restore your licenses also can you explain using left-handed players on the right and right-handed players on the left how does this apply to defense as well uh yeah so the reason why you want to do the opposite handed is that you always have a one-timer option in the offensive zone same with defense defense I'm not going to lie, man. The one-timers are just completely nerfed to the point where I'm almost okay with putting the correct side of the fenceman on their strong side, uh, like lefties on the left, because uh, defensively it is easier when you're defending the rush with having an opposite or with uh, having the correct-handed defenseman. Um, but uh, the, unless unless one-timers get fixed, like there's almost no point to it. So I don't know. I, I might mess around with it today. Redliners, hey man, I bought 85 Stammer last night for 40 and 84 Drew for 20 to try out, thinking it's wise to sell them before Friday and buy them back after. Low key, yeah, probably. Call the master. Yo, slaves love the content. Quick question. I have 40k. What should I do? I'm trying to build up gold collectibles for the new event, but I have like two now, so should I get another one or save up for and get a player? My best is 85 cover athlete. I would buy Stamkos for 40k. Because three isn't gonna do enough. 
From Fedor, hey, Cam, love the content. You're the best, man. I appreciate that, dude. One quick question. When is the best time to buy top players? Not icons, because you can do them with sets from the market. It's right after um, right after um, rewards. So when Rivals rewards drop on Wednesday and when Squad Battle rewards drop on um, on Thursday, uh, Thursday, yes, um, those are the times. And Hut Champs, I don't know when the rewards will drop for that, but it's usually Wednesday, and that would be the best. Uh, it would be Wednesday night after everyone rips packs after 5 p.m. Anyone know when the event is coming? This Friday, 5 p.m. From Matt Chamberlain. Pack luck has been crazy. Pulled Vazzy and Price. Let's go. Both have stood on their head for me. I know I'm going to keep one and sell the other vocal for 20K. Should I wait or get the 24K now? Get the 24K now because those only go down. Uh, Justin Figgins, sir. Dude, love your Twitch streams. You are the man I subbed on here since you start Best NHL Info. Yo, I appreciate that, man, man. From Armin Hussein. I sometimes spend money on the game, but I rarely do. Should I save all my gold players for Mario set or do some team building sets first? Do not do the team building sets. The only one that's worth it is Larry Murphy, and he's even getting to the point where he costs too much. Trip Miley got 90k with a decent team to start. Got Liney, Neil, Larkin, Oshi, and others. Got two icon collectibles. Want to get better defense? Should I go for Coffee or any other low end D man that are good? Uh, there's a bunch. If you can, if you've already got two icon collectibles, get the third one and try for Coffee. Um, after that, I mean, you could try and go for like a Goss to spare is a good low end D man. I've said this a million times, but it just he's very very good. Would you focus on S synergies first or the best cards? I always just go for the overall, um, but if you have a free-to-play team and you're, you know, you're low 80 overalls, then you kind of have maneuverability to try for synergies. If you spend some money on the game and you've got like an 85 and above overall team, I just go for the best player. Didn't get my diamond pack and cover athletes. What the fuck? That's a known issue. Uh, you will get them shortly. Ian Hartley, I think it's an I think that's awesome that you go everyone's comments. Just made me a huge fan of your channel, so I sub. Thanks, man. I'm a bigger I'm a big Rangers fan. That being said, Panarin or Zabinajad. Also, what's a good price for the primetime Lundqvist? Um, he should drop. Um, although he is a pretty good build and he's a popular card, obviously. So I wouldn't spend any more than 10k on him. Um, in terms of Panarin or Zabinajad, I would go Zabinajad because Panarin is getting a master set item on Friday. Um, so he'll the, there's a better option for him. From Arc Bob, Johnny Hockey and Hall is left-handed wingers, but the Thief synergy is pretty much garbage for wingers, correct? Wondering if you have some suggestions for replacements that that run the Howitzer perk or at least something decent that will actually help my squad. Also, good replacement for Ovi as a right-handed winger. He just isn't it at all this year. Thanks for the great content. Um, so left-handed wingers out of Howitzer, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, but I know guys like, for example, um, Actually, Sebastian Ajo. Bang. There you go. Let's go. All right. Sebastian Ajo would be a good fit. Um, and then Ovi. Uh, sell Ovi and get Stamkos, man. Also has Howitzer. What is the purpose of saving gold collectors for events? Is it upgraded special cards you maybe win per for participating? So what's going to happen is the Master Set event is the Grit versus Grit event is going to come out, and there's going to be Master Set items available. There's six special cards. And to make those special cards, you need gold collectibles. That's why. From Gab Durand, I know that for now Icon Collectors are better, but are Gold Collectors going to be better in like one to two months? Yes, uh, Icon Collectors kind of fall off, but with the fact that Icons will upgrade twice to Silver and Gold, it might keep it keeps their value a lot more you know longer. Eighty five overall Matthews or eighty five Stamco. Stamco is not close. Hey boys, event will come sixteenth sleeves. Yes, it will. Sleeves Carlson or Burns Carlson not close. Uh, Big Tuna top three gas station snacks. Uh, Jack Link's beef jerky, combos, the pizza kind, and uh, no Henry. From Joe Scavione, any idea why they got rid of online seasons? Because online seasons was just a kind of a useless uh, sink, and it busted up the the um, player base. Um, Rivals is what online seasons should have always been, but now it's just a total sweat fest, so they need to add something else. But online seasons being removed is actually a good thing. Rivals is what it should have been, and there was no rewards for online seasons. Pyro, center for 20k or less, I would say Taves or Larkin, Larkin for sure. Also, by Barzelli, caps at 10k, so if you bid 10k on you automatically win. True. Uh, Jomzev, my dad bought 21 Deluxe Edition on his account. Okay, can he? Can I get those pre-order packs? No, you'd have to... I, no, you would not be able to. That Matt Barzell card is a nasty budget card? Correct. Um, rock and jump. Hey, I like these vids, but what is the best 87 overall? Icon is the Paul Coffey. 
Hey, Sleeves, love your content. I've been watching since the end of NHL 18. Thanks, man. Quick question for you. I have Lemieux and currently working towards Lafleur. Assuming I get Lafleur from the Icon set, who should I go for next? It's an older fan. I'm going to get Gretzky eventually, but should I get him next or go for more depth guys first? Also, why is there no Ryan Smith, a.k.a. Captain Canada? I'm actually stunned why there's no Ryan Smith. Um, it is based on players being in the union. Uh, that's their deal they have. So if they're not in the union anymore, that's why they're not in the game. That being said, uh, should you uh, assuming I get Lafleur from the set, who should I go for next? If you can get enough icons to immediately go for Gretzky, that's the play. But a lot of players can't, so I always recommend just going for Paul Coffey. Maze Jolt, my man Maze from Twitch. Uh, would you take John Carlson or Klingberg? He is going to be with Cam Fowler. I would go with Klingberg. I really like him. I use him on my team. Should I sell my Kucherov to buy Stamkos and keep the rest of the money? Yes. Ty Martin, actually, actually no, because left-handed wingers, there's there's less there's less of them. I know Stamkos is one of the best right-handed wingers. If you saw my video, in this case, if you're not gonna buy a left winger that's better than Kucherov, I wouldn't trade because uh, you could buy Eichel for much cheaper. I would I would keep Kucherov by Eichel. From Ty Martin, I packed McKinnon and Crosby during EA play. I'm not really a fan of how they play, dude. I don't know what it is. Those two cards, I feel you, dog. Any advice on what I should do? Should I sell them both to get McDavid? Yes. What do you think of the 86 overall dry sidle base card? I'm not a big fan of the build and the, and the card. Uh, top three of the 85 icon and continue. I love your content. Top three off the top of my head would be Gartner, then Adam Oates, then... Actually, sorry. In, in all honesty, Adam Oates is the best 85 overall icon. I'm not overthinking anymore. His face-off stat, if you can activate his synergy, he's the best 85 overall icon. Then Mike Gartner, then Mike Mandano. Want to do a vid on how to hit because my headman can't hit Arvidsson and it's like this every game. I will be doing a how to play defense video coming up shortly. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I played enough of games to give you guys good, you know, accurate advice. Our toads need some help deciding what to do with tradable gold players. Is it worth to trade them into gold icon sets for the Mew or should I be selling them for each of the coins? There's so many cards in the market right now. It's um, inflated or sorry. So I would not. I would not sell them because you're not going to get a lot of value for them. Um, if it ever goes up to like 900 coins per gold, then yeah, but I would just be trading them in for uh, um, gold collectibles. Luke Elliott. Uh, hey, Sleeves, what's going on? I had a question on the distributed synergy. Do you think it's a strong synergy because it gives you plus three speed, or would you pick Howitzer, but distributor is a teammate? I would go with, if you can activate distributor, then okay, but Howitzer is so good, and it's on all of the top-end cards, so I love Howitzer. It's the best synergy in the game by far. I pulled Kucherov. Should I keep or sell him? If he is your best player, I would keep him. New subscriber, love the channel. Thanks, Brent. I find your advice to be far more on point than other YouTubers, so thank you. I appreciate that, dude. I've lit over 100K after getting Lemieux and Beliveau. Unfortunately, not LaFleur. Oh, that's tough. I want to make more icons to get some get some 84.6 to fill up my lineup, but do you expect prices to drop by next week? And am I better to just keep hammering away now? So like I said, Friday and Saturday, you're going to see a significant drop in um, those 85 overall range cards. That's when I would look to buy. Second question, I'm new to Hut, but I keep hearing about events and keeping gold collectibles with them. I assume this is to get players like the 89 Panarin you mentioned here. Is there any other estimate how many gold collectibles should I, I should roll into the event with to make sure I get a player like Breadman? I would assume because it takes seven icon collectibles to make the 89 Lemieux and Gretzky that it's at least seven. I would say seven to nine is probably the bet. Thoughts on the 85 Holtby? Would it be worth trying to upgrade to Vazzy? 100% I would try to upgrade to Vazzy. Price or Vasilevsky? I would go Price. Uh, my favorite series on the channel. Thank you, Boca. I'm free to play, and I want to go Hawks heavy, but because I'm not the most competitive yet, I want Ronick, Bell, Four, and Chelios, my favorite Hawks ever. I feel it. And eventually Mario. What order should I go for these guys, and have you heard anything about the Bell Four? I haven't heard anything about the Bell Four, but because you can use smaller goaltenders now because of how stats work, he could be viable. i try to six foot is kind of the lowest I'll still go. Um, what order would I go? I would try and just go in order of the cost. So I would go, um, you know, try and, because you're trying to get 285s, do the 85 overall set, and then try for Chelios. Pat Morgan, should I save all my packs from squad battles and hut rush for the event Friday? Also, you're great. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Uh, yes, if you have the patience, unlike myself, I would save for the event. That's the best play. Riley Levesque, which cards are the best value for center other than Lemieux? Uh, too vague of a question, man. It, it, honestly, Adam Oates is unbelievable at center if you can get him for the 85 icon. If you can make him. Because, like, I mean, if it only costs one icon collectible. Horace, started out with these two first lines. Ovechkin. Baxter, Malkin, Panarin, Barzell, Duchesne. Took your advice, sold Ovin Panarin for a combined 100K. Great advice. Took that plus some other minor cells. And in 30 minutes, I did this. Stamkos, Giroux, Malkin, Eichel, Bergeron, Duchesne. That's gross. For the left side, Rantanen or Hall. Cheers. 
Hall is going to drop in price because eventually he's going to get his 86 prime time, uh, which drops the the lower card's value. Uh, but Hall would be my choice there. Who do I take in the veteran synergy pack? Weber or Keith? Here is my D now. Cover Subban, Suter, Jones, Yossi, Hamilton, Ghost. I like Keith more. Ian, I love the vids. Which defenders can I buy for 30k, or should I save up and find a better D-man? Uh, I would save up. There's a lot of cheap options that you can go with, like Gosses, Bear, and Klingberg for the meantime, and then and then wait and then buy bigger ones. Ian Hartley, how important is having lefties playing right wing and right wings playing lefty? Very important for forwards. Extremely important uh, for defense. Like I said early on, it's not all that important, but it still um, gives the threat of a one-timer, and people have to respect it a little bit. I spent a few dollars during the first day release. I managed to sell, get myself 250k and a few 85 over 86 players, all untradeable from team builders and icons. What should I do with my coins to set up for the rest of the year? Looking to invest and get more money for value. Also, side note, I'm not fussed about playing with a horrible team at this point, so I'm really just thinking about the money. Uh, what you want to do is try and buy as many icons with your 250k, or sorry, gold collectibles for 35k and under, and then flip them when the event comes. Free to play player here. Who are some good centers to go after? I currently have 20k and two icons. Uh, my top center is Kadri for the Howitzer. By the way, love the content. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I have 20k and two icons. Do trade in one of your icons. Try to get Adam Oates. Accidentally comment on the wrong vid. Thoughts on 87 Lidstrom? Uh, he's not bad, but uh, there's far better options than the 87 set, in my opinion. Um, I would rather have any of the forwards like uh, Forsberg or Sackick um, and uh, Paul Coffey, obviously. Should I buy Bergeron or 65 overall William Champagne? <laughs> Patrick O'Brien, Ace Leaves, love the content. Would still be playing on hybrid with a low camera if it wasn't for your vids. Oh, my goodness. I don't know where to go with my team 86 overall. I pulled two tradable GCs, have 70K in the bank, and have around 100 gold players. Uh, about half are tradable. Should I save up for Mario, build the floor, or wait for the event and see if I... I would just wait for the master item and see what you can get in the event first. From Mick Shelley, sleeves love the vids and streams. Cool question. I got a thousand points. Should I buy two elite packs for five hundred each, or buy a pack when Lit versus Grit come out? I, oh, I would do the five hundred each. Man, those packs were actually pretty sick for me. Marcus Moore, not a lineup question, but I just did an 80, 88 overall icon set and I didn't get a little I'm upset. That's tough, bro. Insane, insane, insane budget card right now is the right-handed William Nylander with the Howitzer Synergy. I picked him up for 1.8K. I have him starting over Braden Point. Just a heads up for budget players. Love these comments, guys. I don't get to play with these lower overall players, so um, I, I always love hearing about testimonials. Need some good Howitzer lefty suggestions. Uh, Aho would be one off the top of my head. Chris Chelios or Rob Blake looking for a defensive guy from my left side, but still has a cannon of a shot. It's Chelios. He's the third best left-handed or right-handed defenseman in my opinion. The Furda YouTube, did anyone else get the pre-order packs and players that haven't received any of my rewards on World of Shell Bags? That's a known issue. You should receive it shortly in the next couple days. Loving the content when You consider a good face-off rating for a center. Thanks. Anything at launch, anything above 80 um, in about two weeks, anything above 85. And finally, whoops, and finally... Hello, thank you for the content. Your videos are the reason for me to start playing Hut and also watching actual NHL again. Dude, I love to hear that. After my career in real hockey has ended because of injury, age of 16, dude, that, I'm sorry to hear that. I can't see the rest of, oh, here we go. Um, couldn't get pleasure, but I, hopefully I passed after, I passed for four years. Man, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, and for the video, who should I choose, Pasternak or Sagan, all around the best? Yo, dude, I would, thank you again. I really appreciate that comment, and I would go with Sagan. All right, guys, that was a long one. I'm trying to go through all these comments. I am shortly going to switch to uh, only answer the public subscriber questions. Again, it's a little red icon in the comment. I can tell if you're a public subscriber. So make sure you go to account settings in YouTube and then switch it. Uh, you'll see public subscribers, it's a little slider slide it on because it's just a 30 minute video is a really long video. So I want to appreciate everyone's comments. I'll get to it every morning if I can, which I should be able to. Um, and again, one more time, guys. I'm now partnered with G Fuel. If you use my code, take a screenshot of your order confirmation screen. Don't include your address or anything like that. Just show me that you did the order with my code, and then uh, hit me up on Twitter. I will add you to a selective chat for only people that do that, and I will answer your NHL questions immediately for the next month, guys. Uh, whether it be lineup question, tips, all that kind of stuff, you'll get direct access to me immediately. Thank you guys again for all of the support. I'll see you guys later.